In this video, we'll go over how to calculate the voltage across and the current through a circuit component. In the previous videos, we calculated the total resistance of this circuit to be 89 over 59 ohms. Now, based on the information that we have here, we want to calculate the current through and the voltage across this lamp here. So here I have all of the simplifications that we made to calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Now to calculate the current and the voltage of a single component, what we have to do is instead of going from the innermost loops outwards, we have to work our way from outside to inside. So we'll have to work our way back through these simplifications until we get to the light bulb that we're looking for. In this case, we were looking for the voltage and current through this light bulb over here. And if we work our way back through, we see that in circuit number two, we get to that light bulb over here. So all we have to do is work our way back to step two. So right now we are at the very last step and we have two resistors that are in series. And we know the total resistance and the resistance of the green bulb from the second video and we are also given the resistance of the white bulb and the total voltage. We also know everything that is in the blue box here, so we know the relationship between voltage and current of components that are in series and in parallel, and also the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. But before we jump into calculating the voltage and current of the individual components, we need to know the total voltage and the total current. We are given the total voltage, but we're not given the total current. But we have this formula here that we can use to calculate that. So we have the total voltage is 1, and... The current we don't have, but we know the total resistance is 89 over 59. So that means that the total current is 59 over 89 amps. Now we have to calculate the current and the voltage of the circuit components and we really only have to calculate those for the green bulb because if you remember, we were trying to calculate the voltage and current across this bulb. And what this green lamp is, is really everything here. So all of these loops. So to get to that bulb that we're looking for, we have to first calculate the voltage and current of this green bulb here. To calculate those, what we have to do is use what we know about circuit components that are in series. And in those cases, it's easier to get the current through each component first because there are no branches and that means that the current is the same throughout. So that means that the current through the green bulb is also 59 over 89 amps. Then we can get the voltage using V is equal to IR, since we know I is 59 over 89, and R of the green bulb is just 30 over 59. So the voltage is 30 over 89 volts. And then if we wanted to calculate the voltage of the white bulb as well, all we'd have to do is use V total is the sum of all the voltages in components that are in series. And then by that, we just subtract 30 over 89 from 1 to get the voltage of the white bulb. But we don't need that in this case, so we won't calculate it. Now we are at step number four, and the green bulb that we had in the last step has been opened into this loop that is made of three other bulbs, and we have the resistances of these three bulbs from when we calculated the total resistance of the circuit. We also have the current and the voltage of the green bulb, which is basically this whole loop from the last step. 
Now we need to calculate the voltage and the current of this bulb here because this bulb is going to open into this loop which has the light bulb that we're looking for. The yellow light bulb is inside a branch of uh, this loop, so that means that we're dealing with components that are parallel to each other. And uh, with components that are parallel to each other, it's easier to calculate the voltage first because the voltage through each of the branches should be the same. Since we had that the voltage drop across the green lamp, or in other words, from this part of the loop to the other part was 30 over 89, that means that in both this upper branch of the loop and the lower branch, the voltage drop should be 30 over 89. And since the lower branch only has this single yellow light bulb, that means that the voltage drop across our light bulb is also 30 over 89. Then we can calculate the current using V is equal to IR. Since we know that the voltage is 30 over 89 and the resistance is 6 over 7, so the current is 35 over 89 amps. Now, if we wanted to calculate the current in the upper branch, all we'd have to do is subtract this current that we calculated from the total current entering the loop, which is the current of the green bulb. Now, if you look at step three, you'll see that in this step, the two upper bulbs from step four have opened into these two loops here. And these two loops have nothing to do with this bulb here that we were looking for. So we're just going to jump ahead to step two. In this step, the yellow lamp that we had before in the lower branch is replaced with this loop over here. And this loop actually has the pink lamp that we want to calculate its current and voltage. So we know that this is going to be the last step. And in this case, there are components that are parallel to each other because we have uh, two branches and there are also components that are in series in each of the branches. So what we'll have to do first is calculate the current and the voltage across each branch and then move on to calculate the current and the voltage of the individual components. And since the pink lamp is in the upper branch, we'll only have to calculate the current and the voltage of the upper branch. Now pause the video and calculate the current and the voltage of the upper branch. So we can quickly tell that the voltage of the branch is 30 over 89 because the voltage of the lamp that in the previous step replaced this loop here was also 30 over 89. And we know that the branches in the loop should have the same voltage as the loop. So now that we know the voltage of it is 30 over 89, we can calculate the current as well using V is equal to IR. But before we do that, we need to figure out what the resistance of the branch is. And this branch is made of two lamps, so its resistance is just going to be the sum of their resistances. And the resistance of this lamp here is just one since it's one of the white bulbs. So the branch has a resistance of 1.5 ohms. And that means that the current is just going to be 30 over 89 over 3 over 2, which is just going to be 20 over 89 amps. Now pause the video and try and calculate the voltage and the current through the lamp that's highlighted with pink.
So the current through the lamp is just going to be 20 over 89 amps because the current throughout the green branch is going to be the same because all of the circuit components in the green branch are in series. So we can use V is equal to IR to get the voltage of the lamp as well. We know the current is 20 over 89 and the resistance is 1, so the voltage is also 20 over 89. And now we have the voltage and the current of the lamp that we were looking for. So now you can see that we can calculate the voltage and current of circuit components by working our way from outside to inside and for parallel components first calculating the voltage and for components in series first calculating the current and then using the equation V is equal to IR to calculate the other value.